Yo, what's up, Jake Pinkins here with another episode of Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Yeah, this is like episode 38 or something. 37 or 38, I don't know. Man, this game is fun. I didn't realize we were so far... Or maybe it's not, I don't remember. Maybe it was 16 or 17. Uh, whatever, but I remember that we were really far into Mega Man, too. Anyway, I did not realize until recently they were that far. Anyway, this isn't Mega Man. This is Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. <clears throat> Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thoughts on this matter? I'm feeling a lot better right now, even though I just exercised, which is a rarity. The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios is a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard to present. But there is no one else who have committed that crime. I call the verdict of guilty for the defense, Mr. Will Prowers. Very well, Mr. Wright, your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who committed the crime. He's gonna call on the little the the worker girl. Oh, no, interesting. But he's gonna get more time. Let us hear you have in mind. However, if you are this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who's obviously innocent, then you will be penalized. Right. Great. As if the stakes weren't high enough. So who's the person who Mr. Prowse committed the murder? It had to be boop, the assistant girl. It was the assistant. The steel samurai costume and it was in his dressing room. Yeah, yeah. Stole it, and in doing so, she became the steel samurai. So you're saying the steel samurai is the, in the picture is really the assistant? That's correct, Your Honor. If you're serious, you've got guts, Mr. Wright. Remember the photo? Wasn't the steel samurai a little lame? He was dragging his foot. Oh, uh-oh, bad feeling this time. But remember the testimony concerning Powder's injury. Powder for ammo or the run through. Oh, and me. What, uh, what about the assistant? Oh, her? She was cleaning the backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Powder's ankle. The assistant knew nothing of Mr. Powder's injury. She could look at the steel samurai with that costume. But she couldn't walk the steel samurai walk. She wouldn't have leaped. Ugh. Can't take the legs out under the case. Mr. Wright, I'm afraid I have to penalize you as I warned. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. <laughs> Nobody knows my sorrows. Let's not do this, okay. Do I have a speed up button? Oh yeah, I do. Although it's not helping. Okay. Come on. Click. Ha, this is fun. Sped up. Come on. There. It was the security lady. It was the security lady, Wendy Oldbag. Oh! Seal Samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about that morning, this morning's injury. Maybe because they've been watching the action scene run through. There's only one, one other, uh, one person other than the Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady, Oldbag. What? Whippersnapper? Oh. Order, order! It is this true, old bag? Old bag? That's Mrs. Old bag to you. Miss Old bag was standing guard outside the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post seal, seal, seal samurai costume. This slipped in Studio One, the scene of the murder. Oh, why did she go to the trouble with the seal samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. She, she was in his costume. She could point the finger at Mr. Prowers. I see! Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright! Oh yeah, right there. Sherlock Holmes number two, baby. That's odd. Isn't the part where Edgeworth, Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up in a, with an objective and some new danging evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? Does the prosecution have no meaningful objections at this time? <laughs> I love it. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so you think I did it? Is that it? Edgeworth, boy, don't you just sit there and do something? What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this in the the whole way. Boop. Boop. 
Let's save two just in case. Same reasoning that makes uh, Mr. Prowers a suspect in this case can be used to cast out on Mrs. Oldbag's actions that day. Miss Oldbag, sorry. But why would I do something so horrible to Mr. Hammer? You forget that Mr. Powers is, has a, lacks a clear motive, too. Hmm, indeed. That did it. That one bag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute! What about the other person that went to the studio? The boy, the one whose photo I erased. The only grade schooler, though, as you said, second to third grade, was it? That, that doesn't matter. When I was that age, I could pin my old man in ten seconds, tops. Hmm, your thoughts, Mr. White? The boy's not the killer. Well, how can you be so sure? Oh. I have proof. P proof? Indeed, then let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. We have proof that shows the boy could not have committed this murder. Save state eight. Take that! Take that! Your honor. The murder weapon was a samurai spear. Very spear shown, shown in this photo. Yeah, yeah. How could the boy have taken the spear? It's impossible. I see. Oh, would the witness care to com comment on this? Hmm. The windbag. Speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. The girl will spend some feeding on the courage off of today, Mr. Edgeworth. Please find out more about your witness, Mrs. Windy. What was her name? Something old bag, Jordan. Then the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. The court is adjourned. Yeah, yeah. Well, we did it, everyone. Wait a second. I'm not going to just run barking off the wrong tree, me! I'm talking! <laughs> oh, great. Step the presses. The windbag wants to talk. This is all bag. What is this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. Not talk about? By whom? By whom? Uh, by, by who? I don't. I can't undo it. Oh, you mean it wasn't Edgeworth told him not to talk? Well, we'll testify. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people in the studios on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it. See, so don't want to just pretend they hadn't been at the studios that day. But if you're gonna go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free. Oh, the Mrs. is back. This is crucial information. Why didn't you keep this from the court until now? She could technically be arrested for that. Ain't you listening? They told me to shove my trap, and I always do what I'm told. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. I missed the, the power of old bag. Mr. Wright, your cross examination. Ha! So you were told not to talk. <clears throat> That's right, by the studios and TV bigwigs and all this. That this is hurting my throat. Why didn't I hear about this? I love it. I love his face. Don't be too hard on yourself, saying we're all in on it. Some other people in the studios on the day of the murder. Hold it. Who were these people? It was you. Oh. Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director. We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run through of the action scene without the director? Of course. Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. So, where were these people? The director was. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Ow. Employee area, morning for the run through. He joined the producer. Around lunchtime, and they had to meet after that. Where? Oh, in Studio 2 trailer. It's a Studio 2? There was a Studio 2? Well, if you look at the guide map, here it is! You go through the gate all the way to the left. The path where the monkey's head was falling over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? I've already asked all my questions, but... Uh, let's see. State 9. This is all back. This is a trial for murder. I know that's silly, so they were pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it. And they gave me a little bonus still on the side. 
So you got your bonus and you still talked. Hmm, I think I've asked the question I have to ask. Just watch when I get a strike for it. Just pressing on is the right thing to do. What about Wimbag? She sure keeps, likes keeping secrets. Like as much information as we can. Oh my word, stop. Let's see. Them. Who are these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director. Oh my word, I, saw it. I already saw it, I already saw it, I already saw it, I already saw it. Go away, go away, go away. Go! Take a break. Your Honor. We have learned there were others at Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the uh, producer and her bigwigs were all present. Yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Prowers. <laughs> According to knowledge of the defense's point, the first will gather more information about the witness, Mr. Zolbag. More information on these other people who have just been told of. I understand, Your Honor. This is the day's proceedings of Mr. Will Prowers. That is all the court is adjourned. Yeah, yeah. Good job, guys. Give me a high five. Okay, high five the screen in three, two, one. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, sorry about that. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Oh, really? It's nothing. Or should I? I'm going down to the studios for, to, for some more investigation. We have to find out more about this director and producer. We'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. This is my chance to make material for the cross-examination. So, Nick, have we figured out just who it was in the still samurai costume? Could really been an old windbag. What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off Mr. Powers. Poor windbag. I kind of feel sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points there with or without my accusation. Okay, let's get to the studios. Right. We'll be back in this ear sound. So thanks. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that was a sniff. To be continued! Perfect place to leave off, I guess. Yay! Guys, we did it! October 18th, Fight Enco Law Offices. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I know it's a little, just a tiny bit short of this episode, but sorry. Uh, but this is a really good place to leave off. So thanks for watching. Make sure you give this video a like. If you enjoyed, leave a comment in the comment section down below. And subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. And make sure you share this video on Google+. Yes, yeah, so thanks for watching. And uh, make sure you share it on Facebook and Twitter, too. Just because. Just share it. And, yeah, it really helps me out when you guys, you know, do all that stuff. All that jazz. It might be annoying for me to end an episode by saying that stuff. But, you know, that's how we do. You know, you really wouldn't believe it actually helps when you remind people. Anyway. Enough of my ramblings. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Good bye.